There's a person, the Lord Jesus Christ, and he's without sin. And yet you and I are full of sin. We've sinned before God. We've disobeyed God by wicked works. And our sins must be punished. For the wages of sin is death. But the good news is, but the gift of God is eternal life for Jesus Christ our Lord. 1 John 5 verses 10 to 13 says... He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life. And this is speaking to Christians. And this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye, ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. You know, sometimes I meet people, and they say it would be presumptuous to know that we actually have eternal life. But this, these verses here in 1 John prove that we can know right now that we have eternal life. Now 1 John 4, 9 says, In this was manifest or shown, shown forth the love of God toward us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. Uh, Jude 1 verses 5 to 7. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, that's in the Old Testament, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set for an example, example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire now, Revelation 21 8 but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, that is, fornicators and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. But you see, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance is where we change our mind. We agree with God that we are sinners in God's sight. And not only that, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. He came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I wonder, have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ for your eternal salvation? It's the only way that we can have forgiveness for our sins. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And there is life available for you. No, we're not talking about physical life. We already have that. We're talking about spiritual and eternal life. It can only come through faith in Jesus Christ. As we said before, he that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. You see, we're under the judgment of God. We're under the wrath of God 
because of our sin. And yet, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. You know, he's the eternal, self-existent one. He was in heaven before, and he came down and was clothed with humanity so that he might taste death for every man. I wonder, can I say tonight, the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Have your sins been forgiven? Have you got peace with God? Romans 5.1 says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Come to the one tonight who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.